Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Seat Story Cup. My name is CJ. Joining me on the couch for this match is going to be Strife Crow and Forsen. How you guys enjoying it so far, Strife Crow? Not too much because of the loss, but not counting that, pretty good. Forsen, you haven't lost yet. I mean, I lost in Overwatch. We had to forfeit our game in order to cast here. It feels bad, man. We were winning that. You had to leave? Yeah, we had to Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, shame. we're going to win that. That's a shame. Well, next matchup is going to be Terrence versus Tice. This is a decider match for this group. Cool, cool. And, uh, you know, Tice probably coming in. A lot of people said that he was going to be the favorite, one of the favorites coming in. And, uh, oh, look at that. We magically have their decks as well. Terrence banned Shaman. Or, sorry, Tice banned Shaman away from Terrence. And Terrence banned Warrior away from Tice. Cool. I feel like some people that are bringing Rogue are actually not banning Warrior because uh, Ferdinand did the same thing to me. Yeah, that's true because Rogue does pretty well against... Yeah, it actually does now. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't want to bring uh, Zoo, I think, when you don't ban Warrior, so he doesn't have Warlock. Yeah. That's the same... Is that the same lineup as uh, Ferdinand? Well, it depends on the Shaman. But it's not the same. Maybe it's not the same as the Shaman, but it's yeah. the same classes. So. The Shaman is different. Yeah. So... Okay. It's like a more aggressive shaman. What do you think of Tice, Fortune? What do I think of Tice? I mean, he's been uh, raping everything in the EU scene, at least. Uh, the recent... But isn't EU easier than NA, though? Whoa. I mean, we... Oh, wait, you're an NA player. Yeah, no. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, that's why he said EU is easier. But I don't know. I think it's... like I mean, I mean, it's Hearthstone. If it was any game that required skill, you would obviously be superior. Uh, but it's Hearthstone. It's like a coin flip. It's like pretty equal between EU and NA mm -hmm. scene, from what I understand. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We got a pretty good mix at this tournament of NA and EU players. And a pretty good mix in this group, too. These guys. Terrence is sort of like uh, one of the uh, up-and-coming NA players. He took second at DreamHack Austin. He's been doing one well open tournaments. Got a lot of HCT points. Uh -huh. So we'll see if he can come out on top here. Shaman versus Warlock. Yeah, you just want pumps in this matchup. Is it depends the, what opening you is have. Is it the right? double Lightning Storm Shaman? Uh, I don't know what Tice is playing. Can't tell from probably uh, I Face Shaman. I didn't watch his other games, but the double Lightning Storm one is super popular. Double lightning storm with face, the face shell. Yeah, because the thing from you, below. You yeah. have to you have to ban warrior, and then you wreck so so hard with double lightning storm. Yeah, uh, it opens up your your ban as a flex ban because it means that you don't have to ban zoo because the zoo would otherwise be be weak. Yeah, that's true. Zoo I mean, strong against your. It thumb. turfs out on thing from below, and you have double doom hammer and double lightning storm. Yeah, and like one Argent horse rider thingy. It's pretty good versus two, but it's not super favored. It's like 55. Yeah. Compared to the previously favored two. Okay. Yeah, flame is one of the best. I think if you're going first, this is the one drop you want the most because then when they play uh, tunnel trog, you know they don't have the opportunity to do anything after. So. Yeah, he gets fucked by this opener for sure. I mean, he could coin out, uh, which is probably the only play here. You could go for Yeah, because you can't play the Trog yeah, yeah. here, because it's just die for free almost, so. And if you play Abusive Sergeant and he plays like Void Walker, Void Walker plus yeah, another yeah. one drop, you're, you're screwed as well, yeah. so. But he doesn't have an answer to do with it right away, at least. Ooh. What what do you actually want to save your crazed alchemist for in this matchup? Uh, a lot of times I is, think uh, flame tank totem is the biggest. Oh yeah, 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 flame tank totem and mana tide, but I don't think he's running that in. Yeah, this it's one. only if uh, if he RNGs it from the Tuscar. Yeah. Sometimes you just use it to trade better. Like, yeah, this is a two drop to trade better. Because if you lose the board, then you're gonna lose the game anyway. So sometimes, like you, if you want to get through a taunt totem, you can use that's, it on a taunt that's totem. actually not a bad. Uh, Chris oh. Alchemist there. It's like an abusive almost there. Yeah. See? Just better trades. Yeah. Now he has full control. 
Yeah, this matchup's like severely dependent on who gets the early game control. It's so snowball on either side. Uh, I mean, the standard shaman's not wearing lightning storm. Apparently, ties to two lightning storms. I don't know. I don't know. I was just okay. guessing because a lot of people brought that because that that was the deck that uh, what's his name Deathlord went nine like nine zero in Swiss in mm. Valencia with like with double lightning storm shaman. Yeah, but just like in this matchup, whoever goes first and actually has a one drop is always favored to win the matchup. Yeah. Almost always. You need like two one drops, like two good one drops uh, with a coin to be really good at, be really good shape. To be um, a flame imp, yeah. Yeah. I think this matchup is better for Shaman than people think, even without Lightning Storm. Uh, looking at some of the stats, I even saw, I think, the Data Reaper stats that it was like yeah. even face Shaman favored or something, even without Lightning Storm. Yeah. Um, I think part of that is like a very underrated card in this match was Doomhammer because Doomhammer is actually ridiculously good at controlling the board um, yep. if you have the life to spare. And since this match was so fast, you have to use your life as a resource. So he wants to basically just not overload this turn. He doesn't even decide to play the totem goal here just because he really wants to get the Doomhammer out on turn five. It, it's also, though, those are ladder stats. And yeah. ladder players are much worse at playing Zoo the tournament players. Okay. I think not, not I th really at legend level. <laughs> like they well, all just like uh -huh. play on you, curve and Yeah, but the, the positioning I think matters so much more with Zoo than it does with Shaman. Oh uh, yeah. Because you're much more likely to get like Defender Vargas or Direwolf Alpha than you are to get Flame Tongue Totem. Yeah. Like even here, Doomhammer is pretty amazing. Uh it's gonna leave up a big board, but this Doomhammer will stick around, just keep killing minions. Yeah, that's true. Until well, he runs out of life. I mean, this is where Lightning Storm would have been like amazing, <laughs> though, right? Like double yeah, Lightning Storm. Yeah. It just wrecks through at, in so many occasions. Yeah. Yeah, but, but like uh, oh wow, he actually does decide to tap there. Uh, I like the tap. I don't like the the Dark Shade Councilman though. It's off curve. Would you play double Darwolf? Yeah. I, th I think what he wants to do is save some board and direwolf to trade these one ones and stuff um i mean he would have done four damage more this turn with two direwolves yeah and I, then I, I actually have... don't even like the tab i kind of almost prefer just both minions there yeah. assuming he's running like even doom guards uh zoo catches up on cards so fast kind of, i feel like it's a little bit early to tap and just you're so close to lethal already but yeah. Uh, now double die wolf is gonna be pretty bad considering he only has two minions. Is that lethal? Uh, five, six, eight, nine damage. Yeah. Because he can't target. Yeah. He can't, he can't stack. Oh, okay, that's lethal. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's exactly lethal. Good job, Sorkthar. <laughs> All right, well, that was a pretty straightforward first match, first game. I mean, that a lot of times, even though Doomhammer came out, it's just whoever takes that early board usually wins. He needed Lightning Storm. Yeah, I mean, using Doomhammer from behind is, like, really bad. It's, you're never going to recover on board. You're going to hit minions, but you're going to take so much damage anyway. Yeah. yeah, I think Doomhammer can win you close games, but if you fall that far behind, I think when you play Doomhammer, you're six minions behind. That's probably a little bit too far. I feel like if you're like three minions behind, the three minions are like small minions, like juggler and stuff, then yeah. you could actually just, yeah, Doomhammer can win you that, that matchup as well. Yeah. So just based on board control. Thing is, you can also get like, you get a Doomhammer and then you just chain taunts. So you get Feral Spirits and the thing from below and you're removing their board and you're also protecting Then you're your just, base. yeah, building that board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So this is the Rogue with Argon Squires. I haven't played Hearthstone for a really long time, but apparently Argon Squires in Rogue is a thing now. And I don't know why, because it, to me, it seems like it sucks. I, I've seen, I've seen uh, I think Mr. Goot's list was ring one Argon Squire, yeah. I believe. Is, is Ty's list ring two? I think it just ro ro one, okay, runs okay. one as well. I the, see. The thing is, you, the game is so snowball-y right now uh -huh. that if you don't have a way to deal with early stuff, then yeah, you yeah. lose. Rogue is generally pretty bad against uh, aggro decks. From what I've noticed in this matchup as the Warlock, uh, you don't really need to stick a lot of damage early, like Flame Imp. You just need to stick anything because Rogue is like so fickle on their yeah. life that like even like a 1-1 sticking kills them. It's almost better to like 
I mean, I wouldn't go ahead, like, I wouldn't bully him, flame him, obviously, but it's like, it almost feels like the Void Walker, like, or Squire, you know, those, like, sticky openings are better, just because Rogue generally will have removal for your flame imp, and the other ones just, you know, aren't really removable, so that damage kind of stacks up those early turns. Yeah. And th that's well, basically enough once you get even a little bit of, uh, you know, like, repetitive minion damage in early. Pretty it's, good start for both players yeah. when it comes to the move. So I actually oh. want to see what Terrence does. If, I, I guess if you have one flame, you might as well go for both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he does have coin as well, so yeah. he can't he can't backstab and then like coin SI the following turn. Yeah. So he's got that going for him. I don't I don't like Rogue at all. Like Rogue is so bad right now. At all? Yeah. I don't think there's gonna be any player who plays Rogue in top sixteen. Mm. Froden already made it. <laughs> top 16? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Top 16. You can make it out of the group. Froden didn't play Rogue. He played Shaman. So. He never played as Rogue. I six expect a stop Shaman. here. I kind of... You make it out of groups, you're already top 16. But yeah, he didn't well, play as Wait, Rogue. what is price pool? Top 8? Top 8, yeah. Yeah. So there's two group stages. There's a... The, this group stage is, if you advance out of this one, you move into the second group stage, which is... And then you get to top eight. Four. Then you get to top eight if you advance. Seems chill. Stacking, setting up with Phantom Knives. Pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, if you make a dagger, you have to attack here. Because you, if you're going to set up Phantom Knives, you can attack another 2-2 two -two minion, perhaps, this turn. Yeah, you're yeah. not playing abusive. You don't want to play it into... But so much damage. And the Boardwalker just punishes him. And you can see Tice's face. He's just... Really sad. I mean, do you have to Phantom Knives anyway? You pretty much have to Phantom Knives yeah. now. You, well, I guess you can... <laughs> I mean, you can Sap now. That, that, that's too weird, right? You sap sap Flame Imp and Yeah, I'm pretty poison. sure you go for the fan. Yeah. You can always poison my Cleef next turn, but it's, it's overall really weak. Yeah. Rogue really just need like backstab SI and stuff in order to beat Sue. Or Argent You know, Squire. like I actually probably wouldn't be surprised if he snaps here. It's like Fan and Knives is pretty important too. I don't know. As soon as you use Fan, the like, tentacles tentacle stick, stick yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the bin ritual just sticks. Yeah. You have to hope that he doesn't have that in the very near okay, future. Okay, so Tys is really with this hand is looking for a prep, right? Once he gets this prep, he can actually take tempo with, with Violet Teacher. He is using Violet Teacher. Um, most of the rogues are using Violet Teacher over the Zeril card now. It's much better against Agra. Wait, what card? Zeril? The, the, the legendary. The, the, wait, they really replaced but, the legendary? With Violet Teacher, almost all rogues. Oh, really? Yeah. Because Zeril's better against control, but uh, like mostly it's against Zoo and Hunter. Like a four mana three Zoo against Shaman. Zoo and Shaman is yeah. almost suicide. Uh, it has this, it has a lot of good fucking uh, thingies, like the two damage one, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, but even if you get the two damage one, it's still, you have a 3-2 instead of a 3-5. Yeah. I mean, still, some players still play it, but, well, for one, there's just not many people playing Rogue anyway. Yeah. Okay, these are pretty much the best Zap targets in the deck, other than Sea Giant. Uh... And he has Valid Teacher coin sap. He can do that this turn. <laughs> Wonder which one. Wait, he what do you sap? Um, Probably the the Darkshire, right? Because hmm. you still have poison to deal with uh, the imp if he trades into the, the one one. Yeah. Oh. That's a very. I don't uh, think this is the best play player. because he will obviously be able to kill off the Violet Teacher now. Pretty easily. Not easily, but possibly. Oh, there we go. This is a yeah. super good trade for him. Mm. I mean, normally you kind of expect that they have you know, pumps anyways, and then the gang kind of turns out better for them, but... I don't know. I always think that if you stab a dark share, it loses more value than imp because... Like every turn you don't play a Darkshire, you lose a lot of value, you know, compared to an Imp. Imp you can play late game, but Darkshire you can't really play it late game. Or mid to late. Well, at this point, even if Tice 
stabilizes a little bit. We're at the point where... Tice is actually a decent amount line. of life, right? 17 health, you can clear the 1-1 one, one here. Um, you know, because he has Phantom Knives here, you you might not want to clear the 1-1, one, because one, if you clear this one, you have to clear the other half too, yeah. right? And because the uh, second half dies to fan, that's like your last card left. It almost seems like you're almost committed to fanning next turn. So... Hmm. But it, 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 again, it's like really dangerous sleeve of stuff for Zoo. I don't uh, know. Those, those are hard calls to make. I think with Fan, though. Tice's other cards are pretty bad, though. I mean, I guess Edwin, but Edwin's going to be a 4 4. Next turn, if he doesn't draw on something, they can play. Because well, most likely the SI7 is just getting killed right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, a lot of the um, rogue wins in this matchup actually come from. Just racing zoo sometimes, like yeah. stealth Van Cleef or you know, cold-blooded stealth anything. Or just like a big Van Cleef early. Like yeah. even you don't even have to stealth it. If you make like an 8-8 Van Cleef on like three or four, <laughs> sometimes they can't deal with it. Actually, a lot of times they can't deal with it. Oh, uh, this is an interesting turn. He's gonna have to cycle fan here, I believe. Without prep. No, no, with prep because he's with gonna prep? be able to. Yeah, he's gonna play Van Cleef this turn too. Yeah, but you can still. No, no, no. You you're you're going to have to hopefully draw something. I think he's trying to think if he wants to attack uh, the imp gang first. Or knife juggler. Otherwise, you take one more damage. Yeah, exactly. Well. I mean, you're going to kill off the knife juggler anyway, right? That's the most damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, Warlock does have no cards in her hand, but yeah, that's a lot of damage. But it's tap. He's going to get at least two juggles next turn. At probably. least two juggles. Probably, maybe even more. He, yeah. he does kind of, yeah, this is, he does go for the full board or more of a board clear, but leaving up the juggler. Depends what he draws. He's hoping to get some other thing to take out. He gets out, another like, fan. No, wait, he used one fan. Right? Yeah, this yeah. would be a second fan. Like a shiv. Even a viscera, I believe, Ooh. would just go in at that. That's a really okay, good draw. That's perfect. Yeah. That's legitimately perfect. Yeah, you yeah. just pull blood to buff your Van Cleef more. Might as well. I don't know. I might have wanted to save that for the... I mean, it's very possible that the 7-3 will die, right? I might have wanted to save that for the Auctioneer to draw more cards. I mean, this one, you're just like, that, that's that's what you got, you're right? Gonna, you yeah. have one, <laughs> one game, top deck. The game's just going to end anyway. Uh -huh. This is just, that's it. Yeah, two, even, if the, two on even if the 7-3 dies, three. two attacks from the Van Cleef is enough. Mm -hmm. I, he might not win the uh, race, though. I mean, oh. I still think that the Sue is favored here, depending on the next draw. Oh, okay, that's, that's really a good. Very good draw. Probably the best draw, actually. Yeah. It's yeah. only draw develops a threat. Oh, my God. Okay. He could actually go for 10 damage. Yeah, yeah, he can actually. To. But, and it's not even risky. I mean, he's going to take one damage from that, and then he's going to take five damage from the board. That's it, six. Let's put it down to eight, and then a Doom God is six damage. And he, uh, so he's still fine, right? He would have to Doom Guard, draw a Doom Guard, tap, and then into power. Power. Or yeah. abuse. No, actually, only power, yeah. Yeah, it would have to be more damage. Than I, th I think it's actually the play. Taking this one damage in order to deal 10 damage to face. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna go for it. I guess Terrence could still draw Defender Vargas to stay alive. Yeah, I yeah. think Terrence is gonna definitely have to race, right? Because there's no way he's killing the Van Cleef and winning the game yeah. as a 10 10. So he's got to get like Defender Vargas. Oh, wow, that's weird. Oh. Well, you have to. Wait, what can you do? You're dead, right? Yeah. I mean, you. I all... guess you can trade. <laughs> I, I think you. Doom guard into the Drake and then go face. But you no. die. Oh, you die. <laughs> oh, yeah, you die. He has, he has to trade into Van no, I just can't see a one no. mana card that would save him. Like, like Void Walker. too slow. Void Walker, oh, then he trades for the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. You might as well trade for 10-10 at that point, Doom guard then almost, yeah. you know? Because <laughs> you're still going to have to do that next turn with after kills. Uh, I think he has Doom guard here into the 10-10. I just can't see any one drop helping. That would save him. But then he has to trade everything. Like, the only way he would win with a one drop is if he could get like a taunt and go face. He can't get a taunt and then trade for the 4 4. That's almost as bad as just Doom Guarding into the 10 10. I think the uh, simplest way to do this is just to concede. Nah, he, he, he got this. Yeah, he's only going to take five damage this Oh, that's a useless I mean, card. Yeah, that's a bad draw. But how do you win? Like, you you have to draw... You can top take another Doom Guard, and then, and then you, you trade. Can't 
And then you can't tap for the rest <laughs> of the game. You tap into, into Void Walker. Walker. Yeah, it's pissed. You or pretty much have to. Oh, uh, you're dead. Uh, yeah. I mean, Rogue is actually favored against Zoo. I don't think anymore. No, no, I think it is. Yeah. Especially Dex tuned for having like Valley Teacher and also maybe even like Argent Squire, like you guys are saying. Should be. I just think like one defender of Argus just blows the game out of the water. Like Rogue can't recover. Because they take so much damage. I, well, actually, yeah, yeah. Defender Argus is. I think the Leroy version was more favored because all, Leroy, you had, yeah. all you had to do was get the rogue down to like 14 health, and then you'd almost always win because a double power. You just have to piece together, or, or you know, Dark Peddler plus Soulfire, anything. Um, but now with Doom Guard, yeah, I guess it's a little bit harder. But I, I still think that you can put on enough pressure early. Cthulhu Warrior, though. Cthulhu Warrior. What did Terrence start with? He he started with. Uh... With Zoo. He, yeah, he won with Zoo, Zoo against then, Okay, so he, he lost Zoo. He picked Cthulhu over Hunter. Yeah, hun Hunter's Yeah, yeah Hunter, Hunter's bad, right? Cause yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a... Some people were playing more aggressive versions of Hunter. Um, what was it? Rosty at, like, America's Championship? I mean, even, like, the hybrid Hunter just still running high main, right? Yeah, but you can... It is still better. You can, you can just not play high main. Yeah, yeah. And just, like, hero power and develop a smaller minion instead. It's usually better against a rogue. I actually think that um, standard tuned like rogue against warrior is probably slightly even rogue favored sometimes, but it seems like Tysus is pretty anti aggroing the Skulker, yeah. potentially, you know, Vite Teacher instead of uh, Zeril, maybe even Argent Squire. That changes the matchup a lot. Um, if you compare I this surprised. hand, it's like, it's it's pretty favored with the warrior right now. Well, this you can hand. Oh, that's you a draw Van Cleef. Mm -hmm. Unless he draws Van Cleef or... No, actually, Van Cleef won't do much because he has an Execute, but if he draws Auctioneer, it's going to be really good for him. Yeah. Yeah. One of the important things for Warrior is actually to have, like, Axe, and then you need your... In this match, you actually need your, like, one damage activator, things like Slam, Disciple of Cthune, and Ravaging Ghoul. There's a lot of four health mains for Rogue, and you need that just, like, one extra damage after that Firework Axe a lot of times. I really doubt the Spectrum Revival will get, you know, any trading and it'll just die. Yeah. It's probably going to die next turn. He attacked it to set up the Phantom Dives. Mm -hmm. But yeah, with this hand, you have to... With Ty's hand, his hand's so... I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's just like, oh. it's not good yet, you know. He has to play greedy on his resources, try to save all these preps and coins and just... I'm actually surprised he armored up instead of equipped the War X there. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's like it's worth it if he doesn't top click anything. But if he top clicks anything, then it's like not that good. Well, I, as I play Thune Warrior a lot, I definitely fire uh, armor up that turn because I mean, turn you do, four you can do both. You do, yeah. You but, only have two Disciple of Cthulhu. I mean, yeah, but you also Cthune's have the, the the two one. Wouldn't you use that if you had a War X equipped well, just to go face? If, no, 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 never, never. Because never. he doesn't have a, any weapon or anything on turn four. He doesn't have any weapon right now. Right. I would not use the Disciple of Cthulhu to hit him in the face. Like you, you need that fireworks and that two damage to kill to Drakes, with Drakes and Pillagers. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think you have to look at what he did. He daggered up and attacked into your two two or your yeah. two three. So like you're only, he's almost always going to fanize. Mm -hmm. Maybe if, if he, he didn't do anything and you think he's going to play. I don't know. Does he play Shiv? I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. With all the Shiv, probably actually. I mean, he runs Skulker. That's and, true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, so yeah, you just need those cards um, to kill the Drake. Oh, he plays Harrison. Oh. Okay, that's the most important draw <laughs> for Tice. That's what he was looking for. Um, in this matchup as Rogue, you actually, like, once you get enough card draw from your first Gadgets in, you kind of want to actually save Conceals for Cold Bloods. You know, you don't want to use both Conceals and just Gadgets in unless you're actually pushing in damage. Like, you have a limited amount of damage in this matchup. Oh, he's actually going to use Van Cleef right now. Interesting. I don't really like that. I think he's he can use go an half in. Yeah, he can go half in with Van Cleef and save the rest of his spells mm -hmm. for uh, Gadget's hand. Because he still has Gadget's hand prepped to conceal, which is the big thing, so. Yeah. Actually, I actually like this play a lot. A Skulker doesn't actually take care of the minion either. Um... And yeah, like I said, you almost, I feel like you almost never concealed two Gadgetzans because you almost always want to save one conceal for like a cold blooded minion. Yeah. So.
This is hard, actually. Might have to just take the damage to execute it. I, 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 don't, I don't like that move. I, I kind of just like... Whoa, Yamba. Mm. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Brawl to deal with a 1-1. One, one. I would I would probably play uh, a six drop, ju right? Just to go here. I, I kind of like a six drop because that way you can just brawl next turn. Yeah. As well, and, and then you're kind of making up the life. Yeah, you're taking eight anyways. I mean, I suppose you can lose the brawl next I turn. I mean, too. yeah. Minions, you force him to have an answer for the six drop, and if he trades them and cleave, then you can axe them and cleave next turn as well. Yeah. This is not. This is pretty awkward, though, uh, considering he doesn't have anything to use the eviscerate on except for face. I mean, you would you would uh, auctioneer prep uh, eviscerate any day on, if they had a minion, you know. But you won't prep this the conceal when you have two auctioneers. He can just. He's seen a brawl, so he can violet teach her armor up. Or sorry, not armor up, dagger, dagger up, and then next turn go all in with the auctioneer because he can auctioneer prep evis. And then conceal. But oh, he's actually gonna conceal. I think this is gonna be a conceal. It's definitely not eviscerate, right? Yeah, I I don't like using preps on an on a conceal there though. It's it's be, like it, it's okay if you have one auctioneer, but if you have two, I I rather use like I, I would even play a naked auctioneer without anything than use prep conceal there. I yeah, mean, the prep would have been so good, you know, later on. For the fan, for everything. Hmm. I guess he is like Skulker. <laughs> I think he's just start by fanning. Uh, I doubt you sap this target, even though there's not that many good targets to sap. But you want to have something for Sylvanas generally. I mean, he's still putting on pressure. Yeah. Didn't put him down to 18. Actually, sap is uh, surprisingly good against. Twin Imps on the second Twin Imp because then they have to replay that for seven mana. Yeah. For just for a four six. I mean, I like it on Jessicar too. It's just it's easier to deal with otherwise. So. Yeah. Like Jessicar, a lot of times you'll never replay it once it gets sapped, but usually there's better ways to deal with Jessicar than sapping it. I like Emperor Armor Up. This is the yellow oh, play. Oh, what the? The 100% yellow play. I, I feel like this, this, Terrence is just feeling he won't win this game unless he wins his brawl, right? He's, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I like, I like, I would say the brawl for next turn. I, I like the Emperor armor up more. Mm -hmm. His hand just feels too clunky. You know, yeah, not, but, not enough cycle, not enough spells. Yeah, but it would be more easy if he actually Emperored and then he could draw some cards with Harrison or whatever. <laughs> Double drone. Double auctioneer. And I better go full auctioneer. I wonder who's gonna backstab one of his minions. He'd probably oh, didn't he, he would trade one card for two cards, so he'd be at no, he'd be okay. He'd be okay on cards. It yeah. just makes his board easier to deal with. And you're losing value. Like a lot of times in, as a rogue, you cycle through your entire deck. I actually think he will, because this is he's committing both auctioneers on board without any protection, like Conceal. How so if he loses both auctioneers, then he can't cycle anymore, and he won't be able to cycle how, through his deck. How common yeah. is revenge in uh, in Cthulhu Warrior? How common is revenge? It's not, not that, that common. common yeah. not generally, that common. Okay. as as far as ladder list goes, not, not that common. You have too many two drops. Pick and Revival and Fire Wax. That's all your two drops that you need. So you only have. Two only two revenge drops. is like never a two drop, anyways. But yeah. Well, sometimes. I guess late <laughs> I mean, like game. How? Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I guess I can't think of. Any let's other debate game. on whether or not a two drop is ever a two drop. <laughs> I mean, you have to. Let's see. I don't know. Isn't two drop like something you play on turn two? Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying you. You never you, see you, a revenge. Yeah. On turn two, you right? never like play a revenge on turn two. I don't think usually so. Usually, you never play it by itself. <laughs> so. Yeah. It sort of loses its identity. You can't backstab here because you low withdraw. But, I mean, there's no brawls left. There's no nothing left, so... Yeah. Essentially, Tice just wins. I mean... I'm curious, how many cards is Warrior drawn? He's at 17. The row is like 5 or something. Yeah. 
generally Rogue needs to kill Warrior around when Warrior draws like they're at 15. So Rogue goes through all 30 and yeah. Ro Warrior's at 15. And that's yeah. when it's like really close. If it gets like any more than that where Warrior draws so that's like, to, like 10 cards or a deck, they almost always win. Yeah. But we're gonna see some BM from Thais. No. Nope. Terrence with the Terrence knows what's up. Concede mechanics, reaction speed. Okay, Thais is looking pumped here. Yeah, looking not, he, not He's good happy mechanics. that he won that matchup because the Hunter one is much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Both these guys always prep super hard for stuff. I know Tice right before the match, was talking with RDU and Lothar, like about strategy and fans, things like that. Because it matters a lot in last year's standing. Yeah. Big order matters. Oh, you know, if he's running Squire, that's an amazing card in this matchup. Oh, because it trades for a 3 2 with the dagger and des kills. Desert Camel yeah. Hunter. Actually, that's actually that's not that good versus Argon Squire. <laughs> oh, yeah, normally yeah, Rogue doesn't have it. Yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> but we haven't never seen Argon Squire yet. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, we so, have. Uh, last, uh, yeah. last game. We yeah. did it at the end. Okay. So I think it's just one, one copy. Yeah. But yeah, it makes it a lot weaker. And we'll see if Terrence runs. Uh, injured Cavaldir, because there was actually some players that were running Desert Camel with just Fiery Bat. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it might be, it might be it. But it's hard to tell. I think Ty's only going to keep SI here, right? Uh, I would only keep SI, yeah. Maybe Eviscerate? Mm. Eviscerate is kind of... No, but you already have coin SI for a 3-2. Yeah. Two, two, two. I'm, I'm talking about for like an animal companion. Uh, but you need something to combo with it. Yeah. Because yeah. Animal Companion, like Amisha, is like usually really tar hard for rogues to deal with. But yeah, pitches Ooh. all away. Gets the Argent Squire. Wow, gets the Squire as well. Yeah, that's crazy. But does it run one or two Squires? We've only seen one. At least on this So this it's not that amazing considering that the Camel is not going to benefit him at all. That's true. But it's still... It's just having the Squire is so good, turn one. Yeah. I kind of like, yeah. It's it's also good against like Dragon Warrior because otherwise rogues, unless they're on the coin and have coin SI, don't have a good way to deal with Fairy Dragon. Being able to just dagger up, attack in is a good way to deal with that. Yeah, yes, coin SI is <laughs> as good as ever here. <laughs> Using the top deck one to confuse his opponent, I like it. And it's gonna hit the three. three. No. Oh, wow. Sometimes lucky. Sniper. That's a good draw, though, for turn Let's four. Let's see what happens. No. Yeah. <laughs> Only one, one square. So he's not running the the injured uh, two four, right? Oh, he might. Yeah. This could still a chance. Because uh, yeah, it's just random. So if he runs two fiery bats and like one injured Cavaldier. Then we still might see even another fiery bat come out next turn, even though he might run into a Cavaldier. But I have seen people because fiery bat's much better as a, just a natural one drop than Cavaldiers. So a lot of, well, he, a lot of he's going for like the prep sap. Oh my gosh! He just want, yeah because again you sap's so good in this matchup, but this is I don't you like get a six six like this it. turn and I, it's not individual, so it doesn't get like deli shot stranded or freezing trap. You still have a minion left over. Uh, I don't even know what, what would you sap here because I guess you would sap the two four. Yeah. Really though, you give him extra value from that <laughs> one one. Uh, I, I don't know. It's I guess easy and. Uh... But why would you sap a fiery bat ever? <laughs> yeah. Am I the only one who would use dagger here? Ever? I just feel like dagger is like totally fine. You clear the board, right? That's actually a rare hard decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, Van Cleef might just win the game. If it, if it hits enough. Wait, why did he not play the the Van Cleef first? Isn't that better? Maybe kill command at five. But how can how can you kill command without any minions? Yeah, it's possible. I don't I don't know. He could fiery bat. I mean, three two is the same as three three two, right? Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, the one face damage can't be relevant right now. Either. Not really either. I well, think it's. That's like best draw to uh, pillager yeah that would have been good too i guess but yeah i guess if you want to clear but this fits curve yeah and gives a coin so you automatically once he gets killed have combo for si and does he even have a way to 
No, he doesn't have a way to deal with it right now. Yeah. But he can uh, hound master, I suppose. The way Tice is playing, he's basically making it so that he's saying, I don't have staff for high man anymore after using it, but you can't play a high man in turn six because you're going to be dead before them. Yeah. I mean, so this, this, this board is not weak from, uh, from Terrence right now. <laughs> That's it, true. It's still capable of doing a lot, especially with the hound master. I mean, <sighs> Thais has been drawing really good, though, like, yeah. on curve, like, really strong minions. It's all face, right? Yeah, after Jake, all face, yeah. yeah. You put him to six. That means that Leroy isn't out for the rest of the game, basically, unless there's a taunt. And you have Conceal, so... There's not too much of a point in trading here. Like, all your minions have four plus damage, so there's, yeah. you don't really need to... There's like not any really good trades for Hunter. Yeah. You can't clear all the beasts, it's way too many. Well, Houndmaster Quick Shot is a full clear, but you basically leave yourself with nothing. You King Zelic and Quick Shot the 6 6, Houndmaster the Camel, traded into the uh, Tomb Pillager. That's, yeah, that's a very strong play. This is where Rogue can actually. You know, Tice, uh, even though it like, looks good for him before this turn. Ooh, I'm a. Yeah. Wait, you don't want to trade that? No, I think this is the correct way. I mean... What else yeah. are you thinking? I mean, you could have hit, like, the one damage and, and saved yourself a 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, he did it. He did try and do that, though. Okay, all, all Tice needs is an Eviscerate. <laughs> one Eviscerate, right? Cold Blood might even do okay, it Okay, that, well. that, that's probably... So he can just sat next turn, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it should be over next oh, okay, turn, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Unless he top takes another Hound Monster, but then still... Oh, he has the Sap, so it's... I... Nope, that's going to be game, unless he has a one-drop in his deck. That's a taunt. And it does run an injured Cabaldi here. Yeah. So I guess gives that up, but the Sap plus the Leroy is going to do it. And Tice is going to win the series and move on from the group. Three to one over Terrence. Told you, he is better. <laughs> This time. <laughs> hey, Frodan made it out. Yeah. Uh, Frodan is our in a stacky champion. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And Tice wins 200 points for Team Anubis. There's no coincidence that Anubis has the word noob in it. Mm. But not for Tice, apparently. He's going to join us on the couch for an interview after a sportsmanlike handshake. Make room, gentlemen. Make some uh, space, bro. What's up, Tice? How you feeling, man? Well, it feels pretty good, to be honest. I uh, was a bit scared with all the zoos at the end, but yeah. uh, happy that I could still take it down. So you, you have to sort of settle an argument here. Do you think uh, Rogue is favored against Zoo? I think it is uh, really close. Um, I think if you have the coin, you have for sure an advantage. But if you make some small text, you don't make the deck too greedy. I felt it really, really helped a lot. Okay, so like your version where you run a, like a Dark Iron Skulker and, and Argent Squire uh, to help you? You think that's a better version against Zoo? Yeah, the problem I sometimes have against Zoo is that I cannot play my Fan of Knives in the early game um, because I feel then uh, the Forbidden Ritual really hurts me a lot. Yeah. And with the, it just gives you one extra card to deal with the most problematic card, the Forbidden Ritual sometimes. You, of course, still can get aggro down, but uh, Rogue has really good anti-aggro cards with preparation, backstep, SI, an admin that they don't have any way of dealing with. I think you have already a nice matchup, and yeah, even the Squire helps a little bit out. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you and RDU have now both moved on from your groups. Lothar plays tomorrow, right? Is all of G2 going to move yeah. on? And Life Coach also. And Life Coach plays tomorrow as well. Wait, Life Coach is here? Right, yeah. Monday. He plays tomorrow. Oh, interesting. Yeah. He's going to roll up, right, like 10 minutes before his match. 6-0, mm -hmm. <laughs> then leave. Uh, and true. Nah, I, I hope he can make I hope he can make it. Uh, I'm just really happy about the result now. I felt really, um, I felt that I, uh, I did the right decisions, but every time it just went wrong somehow. Mm. Like, there was, like, some kind of punishment. Yeah. So, really, uh, yeah. It was a bit stressful, but happy uh, that I took it. And I think your team is ahead. Anubis is winning at the moment? Ah. I think so. Making up for the bunny uh, hopper. Yeah. You can see those red uh, uh, rocks. 
Yeah, I believe they're rocks. Symbolize the points. I still don't know if you ah, look at that. That's close, though. That's close. I, I still don't know if we were all playing Harry Potter or Egyptian theme right now. It's like a mix. Okay. It's Egyptian Harry Potter. It's like ah, but you see, like I put we I put a team Anubis in the lead now. Yeah, like you, that last win. That's because I haven't played yet. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you probably you probably oh, well. earned about like a thousand tiny rocks. You are on what team. team are you? I'm on the the horror team. Ah. He's on blue. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what do you think so far, Tice? Now that we've seen like a, a full day of play and a full day of decks, is everything what you expected? Are people bringing decks that you expected them to bring? Uh, my group is what I kind of expected, the decks that were popular, but I see a lot in other groups, and I see more diversity than I, well, than I expected. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty good to see that. I mean, I also like my strategy. It's probably not the most... Uh, New strategy, but it is at least not how, exactly how the meta is, and still having, uh, for example, I'm not bringing Warlock at all. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I'm really I love diversity, and I hope to see it uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow also. Yeah. Well, it should be fun. We got a whole new set of groups. Do you guys have any more questions for Tice before we close it out? Not really. No. All right. Well, congratulations, Tice. Uh, but that's it for us. Uh, that's uh, day one of Seed Story Cup Five in the books. Uh, it's been a fun day. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We will, of course, return tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central European time. So make sure you tune in then. Uh, but that's going to do it for us here. Before we go, let's take a look at this highlight package. We'll see you guys tomorrow.